So now we are going to see the restorative power that the brain does for Michael Dungeon. Here we are with Michael Dungeon, and I'm so happy that you joined us. And Michael and I have been working together for two years, and I want to find out a little bit, well, I want our audience to find out a little bit more about you. Um, two years ago, you found out you... Had Parkinson's disease. Right. And how did, how did you feel when you heard that news? Well, I knew something was wrong before I heard because one side of my body felt numb uh -huh. and, out of, uh, and I didn't feel as limber or as, I couldn't move very well mm -hmm. and I, my voice was slower. Uh -huh. And so I'm, I was relieved to find out, <clears throat> I guess, what the problem was. But it's, um, Parkinson's is, um, it's a long-term disease, so it's not like it, it's, it's discouraging to get the news, but then it doesn't, it, it's, they tell you it just takes, it's a progressive disease and it takes a while to work its, to have its full effect. And yeah. you've had this disease for two years, two years. now? And do you feel a well, difference? It was, it was diagnosed, diagnosed two right. years ago. Well, the, um, the combination of exercising and losing some weight mm -hmm. and um, taking the um, medicine makes me feel almost normal most of the time. And what made you choose working with me uh, two years ago? Um, well, I liked your dance background mm -hmm. and your um, orientation on sort of feeling your muscles and working with them. Um, your core, or I, 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 I had no idea I had abs before I met you. <laughs> uh, and um, I knew I needed to do s something, and I thought your program sounded very interesting and what I needed. Yeah, well, my motto is find it, feel it, move it. Mm -hmm. And if you can't find it, how can you feel it? And if you can't feel it, how can you move it? So a lot of people who exercise normally just do it, which is the Nike logo. And my motto is, well, if you have to just do it to get started, that's great. But once you just do it, you should get more deeper into really finding the specific muscle groups in charge of controlling your body and feeling it. So it's mind-body connection, minding your body, so you really start to feel what you're doing. Release. Now, you feel how it shortens in here? Keep mm -hmm. that shortness as you put the foot down. That's you holding on to that muscle. And eight times, lift it up, relax your shoulders, and put it down. As you come in, you breathe out. There's your candle, blow it out, and put it back in. Now, you're gonna find your right ab and left ab in a pelvic tilt now. And pelvic tilt, not your shoulders, not your neck. You're good. And use the abs to roll you down, and roll down, good, nice. As you roll up, you breathe out. Let all the air out of the balloon and use the abs to roll you down. Good. You're gonna roll up. There you go. A little higher. That's it, and roll down, elongating, breathe. Straighten the knees in between, arms over the head, flex the feet and feel that nice, comfortable stretch. Good, bring the arms up so you feel the shoulders into the back. Good, you feel the shoulders in the back? Pulse a little from the shoulders in the back as you breathe out. Easy. Eight, seven. And remember, I start counting when I hear the breath. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Open up, breathe in. And now your left rib is starting to help you slowly. That, that makes, <clears throat> especially for someone who's, whose muscles aren't as automatic as they used to be, or are supposed to be, right. being able to do it consciously makes a whole lot of sense and, and it's helped me a lot. Yeah, well, I'm trying to fight against the progression of the disease by doing this with mm -hmm. you, and I'm excited seeing you're mm -hmm. controlling your body the way you're doing. Yeah, no, it, it, it's, it's, been, um, it's been very good, and I, and I do think it's slowed down the effect of the disease. So well, that's great. That's good. Good. Well, thank you so much for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Bye-bye. <laughs>
have a theory that by maintaining the mind-body connection with people who have Parkinson's disease, it can arrest the progression of the disease. And I've been working with Michael for two years on this theory, and I'm so excited to see that it is really working. And we are keeping every little tiny muscle activation in his body alive. I am coaching Michael on not allowing his analytical left brain to take over the feeling part of his right brain. If he uses his left brain too much, he becomes stiff and doesn't enjoy the process of dancing. Because you get so hung up on the steps that the left brain is working. And so you want the right brain to also just enjoy it. And there's a little bit of give and take of trusting, which is hard when you're learning something because you, you hold on to that left brain of like right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Well, it's a big responsibility. To me. Yes, <laughs> what you're doing, the more you let go, the easier it becomes. Yeah and then you get into trust. Okay, let's do the first dance again. Okay. Good job though. I try to integrate both sides of the brain so the spirit and the soul have a chance to have fun and express themselves. And you will see how Michael also adores ballroom dancing and utilizes this mind-body connection in his ballroom dancing. Eyes. Okay, Joan, loosen up a little bit, cross, good, little, your jello, good, let him move you, good. Even if it's less than you're expecting, own it until you can go to the next stage. Good. Okay, Michael, this is you, you got it. That's it, good job, yes, good. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye. Yes, that was much better.